I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw George Washington Carver. I take three fingers right here in the center underneath and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line down, and connect. Come on the left hand side and draw a curve line out, in, connect, jump over on the right hand side, curve line out, in, connect. Come down to the left again and draw me a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Come back to the left, slightly curved line over, and connect. Starting over here on the left, I'm just going to draw straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up. On the left, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal line up on the right. I put one baby circle on the left and one baby circle on the right. Come right here at this point and we're just going to draw a curve line down off the page. Come on the right, curve line down off the page. Right here, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. If you have room, one, two, three baby circles. Come over here and put a dot and just draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line. Connect. Put a dot. Wavy, wavy, wavy line. Connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line up, down, connect. Okay. Now, starting over here on the left, we're just going to draw a slightly curved line down. And then we're going to go curve line up over, connect, curve line out, in, out, connect. We're going to put some little dots inside. Now come up, we're going to put another slightly curved line. Come back down and we're just going to go curve line, curve line up, connect, curve line, curve line down, connect, little dots inside. If you have room, come over here, slightly curve line down, curve line in, out, connect, curve line down, out, connect, little dots inside. Come over here on the right, curve line down, curve line up, in, connect, curve line in, out, connect, little dots on the inside and one more if you have room slightly curved line curve line in up connect curve line out in connect little dots now so we don't forget who this is this is George Washington Carver. Okay. Now, come inside and we're just going to draw a curved line down, up, connect on the left, and a curved line down, up, on the right. Come right here in the center and we're just going to draw another curved line. And now we're going to add loop-de-loop eyebrow on the left, loop-de-loop -loop eyebrow on the right. He had real curly hair, he's African American, so we're going to do loop-de-loop -loop up on the left, loop-de-loop -loop up on the right, loop-de-loop -loop on the left, loop-de-loop -loop on the right. And he had the most fantastic mustache. So starting here, we're just going to do loop-de-loop, -loop, out, and then a straight loop-de-loop. -loop. And over here on the right, we're going to go loop-de-loop, -loop, out, straight.
straight loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay? Thicken that up a little bit. And then underneath, curve line. Okay, I think that's all. Oh, and all of these floating things, these are peanuts. I'll explain what he has to do with peanuts. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, George Washington Carver was a scientist, an educator, and a botanist. That's a scientist that studies plants. And he was also an artist. So I'm going to start out first by coloring in his eyes black. I'm going to go over my loop-de-loops for his hair. He's got those eyebrows. This is hair, so I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this black. Right and left. And this fantastic mustache he has. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay? Then I'm going to take my brown and I am going to color in, this is his neck, make sure you do all the body parts, color in his neck, these are his ears, these are all, I'm using just a regular brown, okay, and now his face. So I think what's really interesting about George Washington Carver is not only was he a brilliant botanist, a man who studies, a scientist who studies plants, but initially he wanted to be an artist. A very creative man, African American, all the way down. Okay. Now, this is his lab coat. So we're going to keep it all white. But we're going to just color in our flower, which is yellow center, red petals, and green. And I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to do, whoops, his buttons. These are buttons. And I'm going to take a lighter brown, and I'm going to do all these peanuts. Now, this is part of why he was so famous, was that he discovered all kinds of ways of using peanuts for different things, products. But also, he's the one that discovered that if you rotated your crops, your soil would stay good. Because otherwise, it was drying out and nothing would grow. So he's the one that said, hey, put your cotton to the side and grow peanuts to give your land a little bit of a rest. Okay, now in the background, I'm just going to put some straight blue lines. And everybody was like, well, what are we going to do with all these peanuts? And this is why we probably should thank George Washington Carver because he's the person who said, when you got peanuts, make peanut butter. How many of you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in your lunch today? Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's George Washington Carver all colored in. And one of the other things that he should be remembered for is that he knew in order for African Americans to make gains in their fields of work, they needed an education. Very, very important. Okay. Bye-bye.